Hey everybody, it's Bob Boob, the real estate guy. Hi, this is Bob Boob, and I got my little buddy here with me, Jax Boob. Say hi, everybody. Hi. All right, this is, we're doing a video tour today of 1814 Renova Road. I know, this is kind of weird, like, I'm starting in the backyard for this one, because really, if I lived here, I'd probably be spending most of my time in the yard or outside. Um, it's a nice sized piece of property, but look at this yard with some mature trees. Then you're kind of surrounded with woods on the, well, let's see, this way I'd be heading south. This way I'm facing north, and of course here's the here's the back of the house then. Now I know it seems, I know as soon as you hear Renova Road for the, the address, you think, oh my gosh, uh, 30 miles from Lock Haven. I think Renova's like 28 or 29 miles away. But actually this property here, 1814 Renova Road, it's about 3.3 3 miles up from Lock Haven University. So it's actually a very easy up the Renova Road. But all right, I'm going to push pause and let's go take a look inside this beautiful home. Okay, now we're out in front, so here, um, let's see, so this is north, I guess that would be, what, east, and then west that way, correct? So, again, we have a one-story house here, ranch, and Jax is trying to get into the camera here. This property is located in Colebrook, C-O-L-E-B-R-O-O-K, Colebrook Township, two-car garage, you can see there. Interesting fact about Colebrook. It's one of only two municipalities in Clinton County where you pay no township tax. That's correct. All you pay here is Clinton County tax and then the school district of Keystone Central. So if you want cheaper taxes, move to Colebrook, and the other one is Wayne Township, McElhattan area then. Okay, so I think what we'll do, we'll go inside the house. Oh, Jax, do you know what kind of flowers those blue ones are? No, man, I can't remember what the name is either. I forget. I'm just kidding you. They're called forget-me-nots. I was doing a dad joke. Remember how I said I couldn't remember? Isn't that funny? Is that funny, Jax? Not funny. All right, Jax doesn't think my forget-me-not joke is funny. But there are some flowers you'll see scattered throughout here then. All right, let's go inside. Okay, we're walking in from... This was a breezeway between the house and the garage at one time. And you can see this was remodeled with uh, new floors, painted. Of course, here you're looking out, lots of sunlight in this room, looking out to the front area right there. And as we spin around, of course, that's the garage. But the owner will kill me if I put the pictures online of the, the garage because he got a bunch of his stuff out there. Then here we're looking out into that super cool, awesome backyard. And here's okay. the patio. All right, show them the patio, Jax. All right, so here we walk into, you're gonna see a beautiful kitchen. Lots of lots of cabinets, appliances are included. Got a dishwasher, we have a dining room area. And Jax wants to show you the patio or the deck area. Give him, give him a tour of that, Jax. So, the patio, and that's where the down is. So you don't want to fall down there, do you? Here you're getting a better idea of that yard area too. Oh, and there's a secret. Oh. So that breezeway we came in, that's the door for that, right? Mm -hmm. Then what, do you know what that other door over there is? No. That'll take you back into the garage. Okay, Jax, let me continue to show them in here, inside here. Can you tell I got a uh, realtor in the making here? Okay, so here you have the island. Lots of counter space here. Oh, that's a beautiful sink. Um, but a great, great view here. Just lots of, lots of sunlight in this house then. You can see there's a skylight above the dining room area. And um, then here we're coming into the living room area. And you'll see there's a fireplace here. I can't remember what the owner told me about that with the flu. Always have flus checked out, though, before you use the fireplace and got built in. Bookshelves, big, beautiful picture window in, the, uh, in this living room area here. So that's really nice. You'll see the wood floors. Again, just a really spacious living room, that's for sure. Okay, so that's the front door there we really, you rarely use. You'll know it's company if somebody comes to the front door. Okay, so then we're going to come back and you can see the wood floors continue out through the house. Here you have the bathroom. That was just remodeled. Big vanity. That's a big one. It must be a five-footer there or something. Of course, got the throne and then the tub area. Then you have three bedrooms upstairs. Uh, this is probably the largest of the three bedrooms up here. 612. It's probably 15 by 16. I'm guessing here in size. Just trying to give you a 
a little spinneroo here of it. There's the closet area. And we come back out into the hallway. Then you have two smaller bedrooms. Of course, this one here is beside the, um, what am I trying to spit out here? The backyard, so you can see here. You can see through that little hole. That's where the backyard is. So this is a nice size room too. It's probably uh, 12, 13 by 15, 16. And then Jacks, let's show them this bedroom here too, bud. So this bedroom, again, maybe, maybe 10 or 11 wide. Oh, Jax wants to show you this. This has a super awesome closet with its own light. Oh, you gonna go in there? Are you hiding? Bye-bye. Bye-bye, see you, Jax. Are you scared? No, the light's on. Oh, the light's on, so you're good? All right. Hey, can I show them to the attic access? Because we'll look at point above your head there once. What's up there? Do you know what's up there? That's the attic. So that's your attic access here. Okay. Let's see. I'm going to push pause. I'm going to take you downstairs. Okay. Now we're downstairs in the basement. And there's a lot going on down here. The Pretty much the whole basement's being used for something then. So down here you kind of have a makeshift like family room or rec room with the wood. I don't know if that's a wood in coal stove. Oh, actually I think that's a wood pellet stove yeah there's the hopper in the back there then so yeah that must be a wood pellet stove and of course here you have now those are the steps we came down from the kitchen area so then here you kind of have an opening space and again this is a door that would take you out to the to the back yeah might as well jacks let's show them the here there's a brick brick patio area that you can sit at and of course this is partially fenced in right here there's one section of the fence right there that needs to be replaced that's maybe oh, 6 12 maybe about 15 16 feet and then you would have a area where you could even have a fenced in yard area for maybe their small kids or pets okay so now we're back inside ew, ew. Ew, what is it is it a bug mm -hmm. all right jump over the bug come on in Jax is gonna be brave and jump over that bug okay so now here we have it's being used as a guest bedroom um stand back just a second Jax while we're re recording this it's being used as kind of like a guest bedroom area, but it could be an additional part of the family room. Um, you can see this is just a curtain hanging here then. But this is a nice space. This is probably 14, 15 by whatever wide here, another 16. Got a built-in breakfast bar area here. Nice to sit here and have your coffee and just enjoy the morning sunshine. Okay, so now we come back in the hallway. So here to my left and here to my right. Now here we have an extra, again, it doesn't have any windows, so I don't know if you want it as a bedroom or a workout room. Oh, or a bicycle room, yes. If you need a room just for your bicycle only, this would be the room that you could use for it. Now this is actually a nice space here, so depending on how you'd wanna use it, you've got this room. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna call it the fourth bedroom for now just because I don't know what else to call it. And then we come down the hall here. Now we pick up a second bathroom here. So we have the one remodeled upstairs. Then of course this one's a little bit older. And then there's a little kitchenette here. I know it's weird, you gotta walk through the bathroom to get to the kitchenette, but it's just the way the house was laid out. So I don't know, I guess for maybe teenagers or the infamous in-law quarters, um, or maybe man cave, estrogen cove, however you wanna do it. Now this is a couple things going on here. We have a lower level laundry room area. You can see the washer and dryer there. And then here you have your well pump expansion tank. Now, rule of thumb is if the well pump is inside the house, it's a shallow well, typically 125 feet or less. I don't know with this one what it is, but that's kind of a pro told me that years ago then. Then here, there must be something going on with hardness or whatnot in the water. So we've got a softener, got a UV light, so the water coming out of this will be good to go. And of course, we can have a fresh water test done for you as part of the sale. All right, let me think here. I think... I have shown you. Jax, is there anything we missed to show the people? Yeah. What? No? Uh-oh. Oh, I'm supposed to leave Jax alone. He's grumpy. But again, my name is Bob Boob. I work with Century 21 First Choice Realty. Oh, yes. Oh, my gosh. Jax is so right. We forgot to show you this room. Thank you, Jax, so much. This is a boiler room. So now, the boiler you see there, I believe there's a new one coming that the owner's doing, or maybe they're redoing this one, but... The boiler will be all up to date and good to go then for part of the sale. You have an, oh my gosh, I'm so glad Jax reminded me of this. So here's an electric hot water heater. You got your panel boxes over here. I think that's the main, and that's the sub feed. It looks like a newer oil tank. Okay, so now 
I'm still Bob Boob. I'm still with Century 21 First Choice Realty. Somewhere at the top and bottom should be my telephone numbers of 398-0690 and my cell phone's 220-0741. There's a lot of things with good financing out there. Maybe you gotta sell a house to buy a house. Let me know and I can show you how to do that kind of stuff. And everybody, have a good bye day. Bye. Say bye-bye, everybody. See you guys. Bye-bye.